Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today I have a case to show you. This is a case for the Nirvana, Fly Sky Nirvana, but also I want to go through my feelings on the Nirvana and I've used it and I have predominantly used this for virtually everything over the last couple of months. So let me just show you the case itself. So this is the case. And as you can see it holds the Nirvana, it holds two batteries which I've got on charge and it also holds these two can go in there, I don't know actually what them slots are designed for and you can have another couple of batteries if you want in there um, I don't, well tools or something so I've got, I got this uh, come back a week ago I didn't have a case for it, it's the only case I can really find for it so let me start with a case I do not rate this case at all so look inside, look at the finish of the foam it's just not lined up properly your Nirvana is ridiculously difficult to get in and out of it the top is too flimsy so that's not going to support any kind of damage to the Nirvana if you drop it or put anything on top of it the zips average quality at best it sometimes catches loose threads everywhere they're just catching your zip so I can't recommend this I cannot recommend it, it was about 13 quid if you're looking for a case for the Nirvana wait till someone brings out a better one if they ever do because someone will eventually as you can see it's difficult to get out you kind of well, I could fix this foam and move it across the way it's been bound like that, but I just can't be bothered. So, what do I think to the Nirvana now I've had it a bit? So, I still love this thing. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite transmitter now. I predominantly use it for everything. I've virtually everything I buy recently or receive as a buyer, fly guy. But it's still got one problem. So, there's no support for this still. I bought the one from Banggood, which is the OpenTX version, not the underground FPV version. So, there's still no update on this, there's no updates and it was going to be in 2.03 I believe, that's never come out still so we're still waiting for an update for this transmitter which is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous but if you buy the underground FPV version you still you can have upgrades now you can I believe pay to have an underground FPV firmware put on this and then you can obviously you can do it yourself, but you have to pay an amount of money to put it on. I think it's twenty-five dollars. It might—I might be wrong at that. You'll have to check on their website, and then you can turn it in an underground FPV version and get the updates. I don't want an underground. I bought this one specifically because I just wanted this version. So why would I want to go spend another twenty-five dollars when they're not delivering what they promised? So that's the rant over. The transmitter's fantastic. I absolutely love it, and probably it'll make no difference to me doing the updates because for what I'm using it for, it's absolutely fine. It's the whole point. We bought something that's now not being supported. As I say, it's a little bit of a rant, but it's still an amazing. I absolutely love this transmitter. There's some other great transmitters out there. This is definitely taken over from the X Lite for me. Although I've got a video coming up because I have made my X Lite multi protocol now, so maybe. That'll be a bit different now I've done that. And also I've got a Jumper T16 on order. So I'll have the review of that shortly. If I already have it, you might by the time you've seen this video, I might have already done it. Because it hasn't arrived yet. And I don't know when I'm putting this video up. So, if you're looking for a case, avoid this at all costs. If you're looking to buy a transmitter, I still highly recommend this. But as I say, the Jumper T16, I've just watched Joshua Badwell's video on the Jumper T16 this morning. And it... He loves it, and to be fair, I trust the guy, so it's looking like it could be a good buy. But I've got one of them on order, it's coming anyway. But will it overtake this? Will this become not my everyday transmitter anymore? I doubt it, to be honest. I'm so used to this, I love this form factor, even though it's really, really weird. I still love the form factor, I love the fit and finish on it. But it should be supporting the software, so someone needs to sort the act out, whether that be. Uh, open TX or Fly Sky or whatever. Jumper support their own software. So if you buy a Jumper T16 or the Jumper T12, you can download the software and firmware from their website. Right, Fly Sky, come on, do it. You need to be doing it. So, that's all I wanted to say. A quick video. If you're looking for a case, avoid this one. If you're looking to buy a transmitter, I still recommend this, but you're going to have to wait for some firmware updates. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.